Hey, I'm Joey Sturgis, and I'm gonna show you how to control the dynamics of a vocal performance using Gain Reduction Deluxe. Okay, we're here today recording Kia and Janelle, the vocalists of Conquer Divide. I'm gonna click on the vocal track here, and I'm gonna load Gain Reduction as an insert. This is gonna allow them to hear their voices compressed while they perform, which will ultimately give a better vocal performance. It does this by utilizing the um, vocal compression algorithm that I designed based on the 10 years experience I have recording vocalists in the studio. Okay, I'm gonna explain some of the controls for gain reduction. Uh, the first control is the input knob. This allows you to control the, the gain of your source audio going into gain reduction. Since gain reduction has a fixed threshold internally, uh, the input knob allows you to interact with that and how hard you hit the threshold internally. The next control we have is the slay knob. This controls the amount of compression that the compressor will apply to the source signal. Then we've got the body control, and this is to control your overall low end of the sound coming through the compressor. You'll find that this is really good for uh, the, the boominess that comes out after compressing a vocal. You kind of can combat that with this control. Next, we've got the gain control, which is a makeup gain and also a saturator. This little marking right here uh, shows you where it will start to saturate. Gain reduction also has a fixed ceiling of, of zero decibels, so you can never clip. The next control is the lo-fi switch, which is more of like a, a lo-fi effect, kind of like a megaphone sound. And finally, the mix knob which will control the balance between the unprocessed signal and the final process signal coming out of gain reduction. I'm gonna have Janelle here sing this pre-chorus part going into the chorus, and I'm gonna record it. Ready? Cool. Okay, next I'm going to record Kia singing the chorus, and I'll show you that right now. Ready? Ready. Great. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, now that we're done recording Janelle and Kia, we're gonna listen back to the recording with gain reduction off. So you can hear that the dynamics are a little bit all over the place. The loud parts are loud, but the quiet parts are really quiet. And what gain reduction is going to do is allow us to bridge the gap a little bit, make the quieter parts louder, make the louder parts quieter, and uh, effectively uh, control the dynamics of the performance. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo Janelle's voice, and I'm going to turn gain reduction on and I'm going to find the compression settings that I want to hear. So now you can hear the difference where um, all of the dynamic range has been almost completely eliminated, but it has really allowed her voice and all of the characteristics of her voice to jump out into the song. Okay, so now I'm going to solo Kia's voice and I'm going to turn gain reduction on and find the settings that I want to hear. On this one, I'm going to mess with the sleigh, which controls the compression, and the body that controls kind of the low end content. Uh, then we'll mess with gain which will handle the output gain um, as well as the amount of saturation on her voice.
Now with the music turned up and the balance uh, better with the dynamic range of the vocals, you're going to hear the characteristics of the vocal parts and the performance kind of stick out over top of the music. That's how you use Gain Reduction Deluxe on a vocal performance. For more stuff like this, check out my course on Creative Live.